It's time for the next video on 365 Day Magic Challenge. Today was supposed to be Mustache Saturday, uh, but there was a problem with the mustache trick, and I don't have something, and I need something, and it's going to be all straightened out, and I'll get mustache later on in the week. So the review of mustache and the performance of it will be later on in the week. All right, later on next week. So today, to make up for it, I have one of the oldest tricks in magic. It's the world-famous Cups and Balls. And this trick is over 3,000 years old. It is said to have been done in the pyramids of ancient Egypt, uh, like nearly 3,000 years ago. And the trick involves one, two, three cups, and three little balls. Just like that. Ladies and gentlemen, the cups and balls. Now, uh, one of the reasons why this trick works so well is because when you nest, when you nest the cups together like this, it is so hard to tell where one cup ends and another cup begins. But I want to assure you, I only use three balls in this trick and one, two, three cups. Now, I talked about them nesting together and kind of it's hard to tell where one cup ends and another cup begins. I can take a coin, place it right in one of the cups. You can hear it in there. And I can dump it from cup to cup. And watch, all I have to do is go like this, and one cup will melt right through each other. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I'll do it one more time. You go just like that, and it melts right through. It's really amazing. I can't believe it. But this is not actually a coin trick. It's a cups and balls trick. So we're going to get rid of the coin, and money can actually talk when it says goodbye. It's, it's, really, it's really cool. So I take the first ball, kick it under there, take the second one, kick it under there, and the last one gets kicked right under there. I move this one forward, and I snap once, and I snap twice. That makes the trick twice as snappy, and I can make three balls appear underneath that cup. Whoops, let me just grab that ball that fell there. Uh, now, another reason why the trick works so well is because the cups can actually demolecular ties. And that was really weird. I don't know what happened there, but the cups can demolecular ties. And you can actually uh, put stuff, melt, right through each other. Let me show you what I mean by that. You take this ball, you snap, and it can vanish off the cup like this and right underneath this cup. Ooh, it's little spooky, scary stuff going on here, isn't it? Now, what I can do is I can visually penetrate that ball, go just like that, and there you go, right through the cup. It's amazing. I can't believe it. Now, I take this ball, I grab it like this, vanish it, vanish it, it's gone. Nowhere to be found. Well, didn't really vanish because it just appears right underneath this cup right there. It's truly, honestly, super amazing. I'll do another. Uh, I'm going to pick up the tempo here just a little bit. You take this ball, kick it under there. You take this one and you vanish this guy like that. He is now gone. You take this one, put it on top of the cup, and it's not gonna it's not gonna vanish, it's actually gonna go through the cup like this. But that actually makes a, two giant balls and one more appear just like that. It is so super amazing. I can't believe it. There's three giant balls right in the cups just like that. But people always want to know the secret to the cups and balls magic trick. And I'm gonna tell you the secret. You're gonna keep one eye on the cups. One eye on the balls, and you want to keep one eye on the magician. It's an eyeball, and that is cups and balls. All right, so this is uh, Barry Taylor's cups and ball routine. I didn't do that quite perfectly. I didn't do it as fast as I wanted to. Uh, in the, in the uh, DVD, which I'm going to grab, let me grab the DVD right here. Uh, in the DVD, uh, Barry actually teaches you how to do he, he does it faster. My, I'm um, still practicing the trick, still learning my pattern that I do want to say. So that's why it wasn't quick, fast. This is rapid fire. Uh, the, the whole routine, when you get your pattern down 100% perfectly, you know what you want to say, takes nearly about two minutes. So it's not that long. A lot of cup and ball routines out there, which kind of, well, I don't do that many. I, I only do rub-a-dub-dub. Um, and I tried that out on the street. It really, it was too long for street. 
Uh, I mean, a lot of people, there's like Gazzo, if you go look him up, he's a UK magician, and he does a cup and ball routine. It just drags on forever, it seems like. And when you're out on the street, people don't have hours to spend watching magic. A lot of street magic should be quick, rapid fire, get to the point. And that's why I like this rapid fire cups and balls routine, because it's to the point, you're not doing too many repetitive, repetitive vanishes. A lot of times in cup and ball routines, you're doing the same vanish over and over and over and over again. It's the same vanish, just maybe done a touch differently, or you're doing it, you're like doing a motion, you're gesturing a little differently than you would be. Uh, with the other time you did it. But a lot of cup and ball routines are just very repetitive and do the same moves over and over again. I like quick, rapid-fire, street magic kind of stuff. When I, it, when I go perform this on the street, which I will, because I really think this would be a great cup and ball routine for street magic, um, it's really good, and I think it's going to be really rapid-fire and get people's attention. No time to really catch their breath that much because you're doing a magic trick, 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 trick. You're doing... Moves after moves, which I really, really like. And I like the coin. Uh, the, 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 the coin bit helps sell the illusion as well. And Barry talks about some little slight, some little subtleties you can throw into this cup and ball routine. Everyone does the whole bit where the, 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 the cup will just melt through, where you like net, where you just, they just go through each other. That whole bit what I did with the coin. He added the slight where the subtlety where you put the coin in there and it looks like the coin goes through with the cup that melts. And so he throws in a bunch of those little subtleties. Um, he also uses a magic gimmick in this and you can get it in uh, with most standard sets. I'm not going to talk about what it is. Most magicians probably know what it is uh, when they saw the performance. If you're a magician, you probably know what it is. But you don't need that for the trick. Uh, Barry talks about another way that you can actually do the trick without having that other gimmick. And uh, he uses it because it just adds a little bit of, uh, another little bit of, little more subtlety to the trick. Uh, but you don't need it to perform the trick. And you don't, you don't really even need a standard set of cups and balls. I mean, if you have the um, plastic ones, it might work. I haven't tried this trick out with plastic ones. I mean, all the moves that you're doing the trick are standard cup and ball moves, but they're just not repetitive. You don't repeat them every single time, which is nice. They're not really repetitive. Um, uh, so that, that's what I really like. So you could do the moves, because there's nothing that you need like a large set of cups and balls, like a standard set. You don't need anything really in there. As long as you have your final loads, which are like these big balls or fruits or something like that, as long as they fit in your cups, you can do this with any size cups. So that's, that's really cool. Um, the, uh, you can get this at uh, berrysmagicshop.com. They don't actually have the physical shop anymore. I've talked about their shop a couple times here on my videos, but you can, I'm sure you can buy the DVD if you contact Barry. I don't think it's I don't think it's on his site. I don't think they sell this DVD on his site. It was something they sold in store, but you can uh, probably email him and say, "Can I get a your your rapid fire cups and balls?" And I'm sure he'll be happy to send you a DVD of that or whatever. You'd be able to pay for it or whatever. But it's a really, really great cup and ball routine. I can't say enough good things about this because it's rapid fire. It's not long. It's not drawn out. Some cup and ball routines seem like they just take four to five minutes to do. Gazzo's routine, if you go watch him, yes, he does throw in jokes here and there throughout his routine. That's what makes it a little longer. But, it's, but even the entire routine is about a three and a half minute routine, which I think for street magic, people don't want to stand around for three and a half minutes why they watch a trick. They, they want you to get to the point. A lot of people, when you're doing street magic, um, want you to get to the point. Now, if you're doing a big stage show or something, doing a long, drawn-out cup and ball routine is fine, but doing it on street, like I said, it's not a very good idea. Um, yeah, so that is the uh, cups and balls routine, and it's a really great routine, this, this, this uh, uh, rapid-fire one. It was actually a um, routine Barry has taken some little bits of from another magician, uh, John, I don't want to say it's John Hammond, but uh, he, he credits him in the DVD saying that this is basically another guy's trick, but he does it sitting down. The first magician who ever put this trick out, it was called, um, uh, I think it was called Rapid Fire, uh, Cups and Balls in the Book of John. That's the, um, that is the uh, name of the book this was first produced in, but uh, the magician who put that trick out did it where all where you were sitting. 
and this trick was done seated, but Barry found a way to, to stand up with the trick, so you could do it walk around, or you could do it, you know, without having to sit and have all your props. Um, uh, and magicians know about where you would put your props if you were seated, so I can't go into all that, but it's a really great trick, so if you liked it, contact Barry, I'm sure he'd be happy to give you the um, uh, DVD, I'm sure he'd be happy to give you up a copy, I'm sure he has a copy of this, but contact him, because it's a really great cut and ball routine, if you like quick magic, this one is really quick, and it's really good if you do a lot of street shows, and you're looking for a quick, rapid fire cups and ball routine. Um, so that's the uh, trick. Oh, I also wanted to say one other thing about it. It's a uh, sort of a multi-phase routine as well. So you don't actually have to add some stuff into it. Like you don't have to do the bit where the cups melt through or you don't have to do the bit where you take the uh, magic wand and you go like that. You don't actually have to do any of those bits. You can take those out. That's kind of how it's a multi-phase routine. But it's a really great trick. It's the uh, rapid fire cups and balls. And uh, so, and it's a really quick trick. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you for the next 365 Day Magic Challenge video. And remember, mustache is coming uh, sometime next week. So hope you guys enjoyed the three cups and balls.